and welcome back to another episode of Take Two. I am Aliyah Drakes, Children's Occupational Therapist and the Director of Google Kids. In this episode of Debunking, let's talk about functioning labels. In the past, people who got an autism diagnosis would get an additional label of low functioning or high functioning. Now it's done as levels one, two, or three, but many people still refer to those functioning labels to describe their child. Here's why that can be problematic. For someone labeled as low functioning, there is that underlying assumption that the person is not capable of doing much when it simply means that they might have higher support needs in some areas. But having that assumption of being low functioning might mean that they're not getting the accommodations needed because people assume they're not capable. Ironically, people labeled as high functioning also fall into that category of not having the right accommodations to meet their needs. This is because they present in a more neurotypical way. So the expectations are that they don't need any help because it seems like they're able to cope. But this can lead to lots of masking feelings, burnouts, and meltdowns. So instead of focusing on broad labels such as high functioning or low functioning, let's focus instead on the level of support that a person needs at that given time. Let's remember too that a person's support needs can change from day to day or based on the activity or the environment that they're in. Let's aim to provide accommodations that would support that person's optimal level of functioning instead of ascribing a single label. See you next week for another episode of Take Two. Bye.